Welcome, we are eHomes, Beth, Elsa, Ava and Eva. We are all interested in helping the environment and trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. The logo is made up of a house, a tree and our initials. The house represents the competition in general and the tree represents the eco-friendly part of our design. Before we came up with the name eHomes, we thought of many other possible options. This slide shows how we created the name and slogan of our design. The slogan is taking the E out of electricity and putting it into eco. There are lots of problems in a house, so this is why we should help the environment. Let me just bullet point a few. We use too much energy. We use too much oil. We use too much electricity. We waste too much space. We took inspiration from Bedzed for the eco features in our home of 2030. Eco homes using nature to provide energy. We took inspiration from Grand Designs and George Clark's amazing spaces. In these Shoals houses, there are lots of eco friendly materials. We used many of them. Seed and roofs and living walls are basically plant walls. We use them because they fight pollution and collect water for the toilet. We also use reclaimed gloves and roof tiles because they are better for the environment than new ones as they don't put fossil fuel into the air. The sun has helped us a lot, but we can use it for light, heat and power. Hence, the large windows and solar panels. Now everything is important, but my personal favourite material, cork, makes up the walls. We first saw this material on Grand Designs, and after a bit of research we discovered it is a brilliant material. It's eco-friendly and biodegradable, Therefore, it is one of our most used materials. After we thought of the materials we wanted to use in our design, we made a list of more eco-friendly things we wanted to include. Before designing the house's structure, we looked at lots of different inspiration pictures. We saw some more normal houses, but we also saw some more interesting ones. However, we decided to go with a more standard house to make it more affordable and realistic for many people. We also did this so that people can take parts of our design and apply them to pre-existing buildings. So this is our initial basic design. Then this is our final design of the exterior. We changed a few things but kept the base of it the same as the initial design. When it came to the interior, we used bubble diagrams to show where every room would be placed. We also came up with a unique idea to introduce a sliding wall into our design. It could be left open or used to separate the dining room from the living room, which could provide a bit of private space when wanted. This sketch shows how the sliding wall could be used. We tried to make our home 2030 as eco-friendly as possible. Some ideas we had but that were solar panels, smart meters and natural cleaning products. We also thought about having a tablet slash screen on the wall where all your mail would come through and would not waste paper. We also thought of having plants like air plants, air plants and succulents which help the environment. We also thought of having a greenhouse where you can grow your own vegetables and your family can plant and garden together. Our mission about our home 2030 was to make it eco-friendly, suitable for all ages and adaptable. We think we managed to accomplish that. Hope you enjoyed our presentation. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you find our designs inspiring. We can't wait to hear what you think of it. Bye! Bye.